Hello Canadian gardeners, cold climate gardeners and gardeners of the extremes. How are you guys doing today? If you're new around here, my name is Ashley and I'm a soil scientist on this channel. We take that science and we apply it to gardening and plant care. So if you like the sounds of that, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. Let me know in the comments below what zone you are from because it helps me engineer my videos better suited towards you guys because I don't exist without you. And if you are returning, Thank you so much for coming back. I obviously have not scared you away. And we are back again with another plant hack being tested by science. And today we are talking about baking soda. Baking soda in, a, in the garden is kind of like the vinegar and the Epsom salt and hydrogen peroxide. It literally is a catch all solution to the garden. We are going to take the science and apply it to baking soda and we're going to go through what is real what is not how it works does it work and why so baking soda is touted as a way to increase the ph of your soil a way to kill ants a way to kill weeds and even the best way to sweeten your tomatoes yes folks that is right you want a tomato that tastes like a raspberry then baking soda is your solution. So what is baking soda? Well, it is sodium bicarbonate. And right there, it should tell you exactly what I'm gonna say when it comes to adding it to the soil. Sodium bicarbonate is a sodium molecule, Na, attached to bicarbonate, which is hydrogen, carbon, and three oxygens together as one. And when introduced to the soil and water, it separates into sodium molecules and bicarbonate molecules. And bicarbonate, does that sound familiar? It should, because it's from the Tums Hack video. And we know from the Tums Hack video that bicarbonate is completely harmless to your plants. However, we know from the Epsom salt video that sodium, is harmful to your plants and by no means as a soil scientist would I advocate putting sodium in any capacity anywhere near your plants and while your plants do need a little bit of sodium they do not need a lot and baking soda is a lot of sodium so should you use it to sweeten your potato tomatoes absolutely not you just you just use normal fertilizer whether it's organic or conventional i don't care just don't put baking soda on your tomatoes to sweeten them especially if you're a beginner gardener you may end up doing a lot of harm <laughs> rather than good and i don't want you to get frustrated as a beginner gardener i'm all about bringing gardening back to the basics and baking soda is not a basic technique um, when it comes to fertilizing or adjusting your soil profile so no 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 for the actual sweetening of the tomato. But for killing weeds, it is very effective. It works pretty, pretty good, pretty good stuff. But it's not selective. It's very similar to our vinegar hack video. Um, it does not, it's not biased towards anything. So if you drop baking soda on your lawn or near your tomato plants, you are going to also kill your tomato plants. Now, if you have like a brick walkway, sidewalk, rocks or wood like mulch wood chips that don't have plants in them um and you're just trying to kill the weeds in that area then baking soda is a great solution it is environmentally friendly a and b it kills your plants because of the sodium it doesn't kill your plants because of the bicarbonate side of it it literally kills it because of the sodium side so if it kills weeds it's gonna kill your tomato so just don't don't do it unless you're trying to kill weeds and of course go crazy now for the ant claim does it kill ants yes it does kill ants and i know there's a lot it's a hot topic when it comes to ants because ants do add soil porosity and air movement through your soil um so they are beneficial but they're not beneficial because they do eat plant roots of certain plants um so this is kind of up to you what you want to do but it does work um you would do half sugar half baking soda together and you would sprinkle it kind of near their hidey hole and they'll take it in and then essentially it explodes their stomachs because there's vinegar in a stomach and vinegar and baking soda remember science class from like grade eight kaboom 
Baking soda for pH in your soil. So baking soda is alkaline. It runs around an 8.3. I was going to say 8.5, but I have it written down here as 8.3. So it runs around an 8.3 for pH. So if you add it to your soil, the theory is that it'll make your soil more alkaline, which is completely out of the range A for nutrient availability. As we know in other videos, we've talked about the pH chart and bioavailability when it comes to the pH chart. And you want to sit around that 6.3 to 7.5 range, but it is really great at testing your soil pH and giving you a good idea of what your soil is at. And there's, I can do a whole video on how to test your soil pH with like at home methods. Um, there's cabbage, there's baking soda, there's vinegar. There's lots of different ways to do it. This is one of the methods. Do I think you should use it to make your soil more alkaline? No, it's again, it's gonna be completely temporary. Soil pH is not that simple. It's not simply, you don't just throw stuff into it. Based on the parent material, so basically what that soil is made up of is kind of the deciding factor for the pH. If you're trying to alter that pH, you're going to have to change a majority of the parent material or the substrate parent of that profile. So if it's a soilless medium such as coconut coir or peat moss, your deciding factor in pH is going to be the peat moss or the coconut coir. If your soil is a heavy clay, it's going to be based on what that clay came from. So where'd your landscape company grab that soil material from? It's gonna be based on your parent material, whether it's a glacial lacustrian profile, which is the bottom of an ancient lake, or if it's aeolian material, which would be something that was brought in on the wind many, many moons ago. Again, it's gonna depend on where your landscape company actually mined that soil from. And if you want more information on that, I suggest you check out the soil science series um, where I kind of go through some of those things. So that's all I have for you guys on baking soda. Let's wrap this up by saying yes, it's great for killing weeds. And yes, it is great for blowing up ant stomachs. No, it's not a good alternative to change your pH of your soil and absolutely do not use it on your tomatoes to sweeten them. I d just don't do it. Um, don't put it anywhere near any plants that you love and care about dearly because it, it will kill them. It has sodium in it, like we talked about five minutes ago. So if you guys like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button because you made it this far, so you obviously like me just a little bit. If you haven't decided to subscribe to me yet, then be sure to check out the Plant Hack series, the whole video series, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye! I'm growing catnip in my Mars Hydro tent for my cats, and my one, I have it like kind of open, you can see it right there. And my one cat's trying to get inside of there so he can eat his catnip plant that's not fully grown yet, so I don't want him in there. Coley Cole. Do you see him? That little bugger. Cole, hey. Uh, trouble, I tell ya.